Good morning, friends. So it's Tuesday, June or May 30th, or it's 31st. Yeah, it's 31st. Anyway, whatever. Uh, it is finally time to take the Jeep to the frame shop. So I'm going to push that out in front of the Jeep and I'm going to load the Jeep onto it by hand. This should be fun. So that's what this video is about. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you get alerts when I put new videos on. First things first, I gotta get the truck out of the way. And I'm just gonna leave it run because I really need to hook the truck up and back the dolly up as far as it can. So let's get the dolly hooked up. Let me make sure, yeah, you guys can see. Nice thing is this dolly's pretty light. So uh, back it up a little more. Actually, you know, it doesn't really matter if I back it up or not, because I gotta push the Jeep forward anyway. So I'm turn the truck off. Gloves, gloves, gloves. So you take the red pin out and that opens this up and then I oh, need to unlock it. Not that I'm really worried about somebody stealing it, I just don't want them going through it. Now I've got a block of wood on this side. Ain't going nowhere. So you didn't really think I was gonna like push it up there, did you? 
tail now. So I'm just gonna clip this under here and I think that'll be sufficient, honestly. figure out how to get this hooked on here because I don't have any um, I don't have any hooks why is this giving me so much grief I don't think that's going to be enough. So I'm going to undo Now, where in the hell are my chains? see if it's in the shed all right so So I'm just using this to lengthen my come along. Well, that sucks. I was not expecting that. And yes, that was on camera. Cheap ass Harbor Freight shit rides again. That will not happen again. I changed how it's rigged.
I'm sure glad that didn't go over the edge because that really would have pissed me off. So it's firmly seated in here. <clears throat> so let me change the camera angle. All right, so what happened is, as this rocked forward, the driveway angle worked to my advantage and it rolled forward. So I'm gonna hook these safety chains up. I had this looped across here, similar to this, because that's really what you should do with chains, but the hook um, twisted and blew out of this, whatever. So at this point, we're gonna put this in and then we'll attach the safety clip. Now, if your dolly doesn't have safety chains, you could add them. Attach these. So in this case, there aren't very many places to attach them. So it's just gonna have to go up there because I don't have anything low. Uh, these chains aren't really long enough for deep. Yeah, these chains are not long enough for a Jeep. Uh, and that's fine, this, this tow dolly is a temporary item. And these will keep the, do the Jeep attached to the dolly should something stupid happen. I don't think I need these, but I'm bringing them with me anyway. <clears throat> All right, and now we gotta strap the tires. wasn't sure if these were going to actually fit through here, but it turns out to not be any issue. I want it nice and tight. Now these go in in a way that doesn't look obvious, but you want it to hook underneath the strap so it can't come loose or the, the bar.
and that's it. So let me check my lights. And at this point, we're ready to go. Uh, so. So the Jeep is finally ready to go to the frame shop to get the wrinkle pulled out. Um, you know, these are nice and tight. It'll, I've only got a couple miles to go, so it'll be just fine. The hood latch is down. Again, I've only got a couple miles to go, so it doesn't matter. What they're going to do, they're going to pull this out. And it should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. So, the pullout here involves a tight turn because my neighbors park on the other side of the street across from my driveway. So, you know, I think it'll be just fine. Um, but everybody in my neighborhood thinks that my street is the Daytona 500 uh, audition. So they come flying down this street. Anyway, let's do it to it. I don't know much you can see there. You're facing into the sun. But I'm going to film part of this. I might film all of it. And you cannot back up with a dolly. Yeah, not a problem. I think I will film all of it because, well, what the hell? If something exciting happens, it'll just be more grist for YouTube. Now, this little Nissan Frontier is only a four cylinder, but it's the same transmissions in six cylinder. So it's quite capable of handling uh, the weight of the Jeep, especially on something like this where it's just a couple miles. Honestly, it could have could have pulled it home if I could have gotten it onto the dolly. So I'm going to stop up here and check everything because I haven't towed with this dolly in a long time, like three years probably, and it's always a good idea to go a quarter mile or so and then stop and check that everything is still tight. Um, that reduce, reduces the opportunity for unscheduled excitement. So this bridge up here is a really good place for me to pause and just kind of check things out. It's a nice wide spot with concrete on both edges. And So everything looks good, so we're gonna proceed to the frame shop. And all I gotta say is I hope they're fucking open today. They had told me Monday, and I was like, hmm, that's a holiday, and I went by without the Jeep and they were not open. I have shit to do today.
Wow, I didn't think we were gonna be able to get out of this light without it turning green, but here we are. So we got some railroad tracks coming up here in a second, um, but you know, it should be just fine. And in case anybody's wondering, the dolly's rated for 3,300 pounds, and that's the weight of the axle that's on it. The Jeep weighs 4,500 pounds, and I took out a 500 pound engine, so we're down to 4,000, and half of the Jeep should be well within the capability of this dolly. And I'm not going unusually slow. I'm in South Houston, and South Houston has two industries, writing tickets in school zones and writing tickets on this road when you speed over 35. That's about the only two things that go on in this little pocket city on the south side of Houston. It's a quaint little place, but man, do they write the tickets. And we're going past one of my favorite little restaurants, City Cafe in South Houston. Good home cooked food, reasonable prices, healthy portions. And we're approaching one of South Houston's economic engines, also known as a school zone. And it is a 20 mile an hour school zone, so it's always a good idea to only do 20 miles an hour when approaching one of their school zones because they will take at you faster than you can blink an eyelash. I looked back in the in the rearview mirror and I thought there was some large truck tailgating me and then I remembered, yes, I'm towing a Jeep. All right. They're not open yet, damn it. Well, I was really hoping. Oh, there's somebody there. So we're just gonna pull up and wait. Hopefully they'll open in the next few minutes. 
because if not, we got issues. All right, well, we're here. Let me make sure I'm clear. <laughs> 